Welcome back, Tribe. Got one here from Insolent Audits. Men refusing to help struggling women. <laughs> Society collapses. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so the comments are, let's see what happens when men decide to quit protecting women. <laughs> Bullring. <laughs> Sleeve tap. Stop protecting women? Buddy. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I've been assaulted by so many dudes. <laughs> I know it's hard to imagine that a woman like me, that it's even possible, right? Right? Because I know that's what you're going to say. <laughs> but you know what? I've never felt unsafe around a woman. Never in my life have I ever felt unsafe around a woman. You should go to like Pakistan or something and see how they ogle women. There's one video that went viral, some chick in a bikini surrounded by like 30, 40 dudes just like standing there looking at her. You should see some of the other cultures around the world being a woman and showing a little bit of skin. And what'll happen to you? Yeah. There's another chick that went hiking through, was it, I don't know if it was the Middle East or Africa or something. Let's just say she wanted to make a video showing that the stereotypes or what we perceive to be true about other cultures just wasn't so true as a white woman, by the way. And she proceeded to go on this backpacking trip alone to prove to everybody. And then she got murdered, violated and murdered. Wow. Genius. Well, not one that wasn't my mother. <laughs> but men? <laughs> I've never felt safe around a man in my life. Try again. When the men start protecting women, that would be when the humans lived in caves and gender roles weren't even a second thought, let alone the word gender even existing. Yeah, starting way back then, up until modern times, men have continued to protect women. And maybe this uh, Kaween has been assaulted by men before. We don't know her past. Keyword, men have protected their women, not every woman. That was the major key in all of society. And men will only protect the group of women in their group. That's it. It's not a man's duty to protect every single woman in the world as they expected in their Disney happily ever after that they're supposed to be living in. Because you know what was the difference between today and back then? Every woman had a man back then, whether it was her father, uncles, grandparents, brothers, or husbands. Hell, even your son that grows up to be a man, super protective of their mother. All these women had that at a very young age compared to today where men, women are mostly getting married post-30, having their kids 35 to 40. Think about it. When does a man that truly care, cares about you comes into your life? Yeah, older age. Before, you used to have it from the get-go because fathers were always present. Now, 33% single-parent homes. That number keeps going up. Men are weaker than they've ever been before. So the traditional masculine man is even rarer to find. You get a bunch of broken man-childs. Failure to launch types. Infantilization in general of men and women in society today. Yeah. So her experience is of nothing but mostly weak or bad men. Because she's never had a man in her circle that truly cared about her. That's really what it is, man. We, we turned the dynamics on their head of what it means to have a nuclear slash extended family and the importance of not just safety like she's talking about, but emotional stability, physical well-being, and the ability to climb up the social ladder in life, in society in general. That's all gone. There were so many threads that we unraveled by turning society in this modern direction that we are now paying the prices for. Dating is just one small facet, dude. The tribalism has exploded. Crime exploded. Corruption exploded. Homelessness exploded. Abortions exploded. Mental illness exploded. Everywhere you look in society, we're trending in the wrong direction. People are actually more unhappy today than their predecessors. How is that a good thing? How is this progress? But following it up by saying she is always feeling safe around other women just shows her feelings, not actual reality. It's no secret that lesbian and bisexual women have experienced far more forms of intimacy violations Ooh. and assaults by their same gender intimate partners than straight women, like in the description. Damn! And to say she has never felt safe around the man in her life, well, does that mean she has lived in absolute fear her entire life? I mean, the men who keep women safe are all around her, and no matter how hard she laughs at them, they still protect her. Liar! 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 
Oh, you ladies don't buy that. Please tell us in the comments if it's men or women who make up the bulk of, oh, I don't know, law enforcement, firefighters, or military professions. And what about vital infrastructure all women and living in cities and urban areas enjoy? Yes, ladies, believe it or not, Men compose the majority of construction workers, waste management, transportation workers, sewage maintenance workers, electricians, plumbers, even mail carriers. I could go on, but I do wonder how women uh, like this one would react if these industries broke down because of a lack of men. Yes, no, I am no, so no. sorry. You don't even know how sorry I am. I'm just being honest. Moving on. It's very classless <laughs> to just look at and unless you're literally in the middle of you're assuming that somebody else is going to pick it up because you've already made the choice to not pick it up. Basically, what I feel is when you're at a restaurant and the floor falls down, it's not polite to just keep picking it up because it's unhygienic, all right? You don't keep doing that. There's a service for that. Depends on the kind of place you're at. And if you feel that, okay, something has fallen, you go out and pick it up. If you've dropped it and it's within your reach, you go pick it up. But if it's like across the floor and across the restaurant, you're not going to sprint across the restaurant and pick something up. All right, that just like so you're leaving it for place. So unless you're littering, yeah. you're basically yeah, acting like, like the manager is beneath you. But even if they are, don't act like it. I was like, you're not rich. Your family's not rich. We're like, you act like an elitist. I'm just saying, humility is important. Being a gentleman is important. Being classy is important. Okay, I'm just saying, I don't think it was very gentlemanly to make a freaking. You see what I mean? Look, man, from the video before, you see what I mean? The kind of men that are being lambasted and dragged on social media by women. <sighs> what does this guy have in common with the gym bro from the video before that was sitting down doing his bicep workout? Look at the build and look at the attraction and then look at the audacity and entitlement of the woman. Do you think this woman would be saying and doing and challenging a man that looks like the quintessential like blonde haired blue eyed steel chin muscles sleeve tat beautiful smile high cheekbones all that stuff top 01 percentile male do you think she would be challenging him on picking up some fucking napkin that fell on the floor and then recording him and having a whole conversation with the internet so she can get brownie points this guy is Mr. Free Food, Mr. Monday. He's going to take me out to a nice place, and I'm not going to give up anything, not even a kiss. Come on, dude. Notice. No, are you noticing? I want you guys to notice that the way you look will directly affect the way people treat you. And we've gotten into a, such a shameless society. Stuff like this would never happen 10 years ago. The society has become so shameless that people are outwardly doing whatever they want the first thing that pops into her head, the audacity and the entitlement today has reached epic levels never seen before, which is letting people, or I should say treating people in the worst ways imaginable with no consideration for the person themselves that they're lambasting. From the jump, just like that. Look, why don't you guys pay attention, dude? It's a very important that you work on yourself physically. You need to look your best because it matters more and more in this vein superficial society we're in. Whether you're going in for a job interview, whether you're trying to network with other individuals, you will absolutely, or dating like this guy's doing, you will absolutely be judged harshly on how you look, how you present yourself, how you dress. And it will have real world ramifications for your status in life, the station you arrive at, the women you get to date, the experiences you get to have with other people. It does, and it will always matter, especially in the world today. It didn't used to be this important. There was, It still mattered though, but it's gotten to the level today that you can get posted online just like this at a moment's notice. And this dude just got dressed today thinking he would have a cool date and maybe, you know, you hit it off and you get a kiss at the end or maybe second base or God knows what, right? I'm gonna have a good day today. Instead, poor dude is over here about to pay for a meal for some degenerate, ungrateful woman that is using him for clout online. Okay. All right, dude. Step one, lift. There's no way around it. Manager, no, 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 you're get giving it. Out limited remains of your advice and saying like, oh, he's got Yeah, just tell them. Team. The man you flew across the floor he and you let somebody pick it up. So That's it. it up. <laughs> My son just fell in the store and hurt himself and he began to cry. He said it hurt really bad. And then out of nowhere, a man appeared to give his unsolicited advice. At first, I was terrified because nobody asked for it. He told my son to toughen up, that he wasn't in pain, and that boys don't cry. What I wanted to do was take that watermelon and shove it inside of his ass.
until it came out of his mother. But I didn't do that. <laughs> I explained to him that a lot of men don't know how to express their emotions now because they were forced to suppress it at a young age. I also explained to him that toxic masculinity doesn't make you more of a man, but more so of an that everybody f***s, but people just kind of tolerate. The sad reality is that some people aren't raising up little boys. They're raising... You don't know how to raise a boy because you're a woman. You know how to raise a girl. That's the truth. Sorry. I don't want to burst your bubble, lady, but you don't know how a man's mind works and how it needs to be nurtured to turn him into a productive adult. Men are very physical creatures. And emotional men can be very dangerous because you lose control. You can impart that physicality onto the world with direct grave consequences. We don't do well with just talking about our fifis. That's not how we work. Our brains open up and allows us to think rationally while we put ourselves in stressful, uncomfortable, physical situations. That's why when men go do things like hiking up a damn mountain where it's hard to breathe or go swimming really far or go working out picking heavy things, in general, doing things together that is miserable, they begin to open up to other men. They begin to learn to manage the stress and the emotions in a positive way and gain control of themselves in ways you can't do by just talking. We're not wired the same. When women start to understand this, they'll realize the importance of having a father in a young boy's life because their way of nurturing young boys is coddling. It's not preparing them. It's not teaching them boundaries. It's not teaching them discipline. It's not teaching them to toughen up. That's what that guy says when, it's, when he says toughen up, boys don't cry. It's saying manage your emotions, young man. There are rules to this that apply to you and me. We don't do this on this side of the aisle because we're not built that way. But women are trying to impart feminine qualities on men, which is going to lead to her young kid when he grows up to be very feminine in nature of emotional outburst everywhere, probably getting into trouble, insecurities, and having a very shaky foundation in general as a man. And I guarantee you, for all the men here that watch this channel, comment below what it was like being raised by a single woman or mother, excuse me, and how that affected your life growing up. Did it set you back or did it empower you to have a feminine upbringing? Watch what every man, I've talked to thousands of men, I've read thousands of emails, and all of them, almost all of them say the same shit. I feel like I had to start at 30 to learn what it means to be a man. I feel so behind not having a father growing up. I, no one ever taught me what it was like to be a man. I had to learn from scratch from watching channels like this or other channels of masculinity or other men, yada, 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 of what it means to be a man, how a man should behave. I was taught everything wrong. There's a lot of guys that watch videos like this that have no confidence in themselves, weren't allowed to climb the tree and potentially fall and break their arm because the mother came, helicopter parenting, coddling them, never got into a fight as a boy, didn't learn physical boundaries by like wrestling with dad, understanding hierarchy, the difference in power, never got a whooping on their behind to know the difference of why actions have consequences and the varying levels of severity, weren't allowed to have responsibilities increasingly so as they got older. Another thing fathers do that women don't is impart responsibilities of the household on the kid as they grow up more and more because you're training them up to be a man. Now that you're a young man, you need to be doing this. You're responsible for this. Here are new sets of responsibilities you have. Women don't parent the same way. It's just not the same. Setting expectations on what a man is supposed to do and how he's supposed to do them. It's just not the same. She's going to give you the feminine point of view. Your father's going to give you the masculine point of view, the one you really need. And that difference in kids is astounding. Not just for the boys, too. There's a reason they say fathers keep sons out of jail and daughters off of poles. There is a reason they say that. Robots, machines, or little soldiers that can help fight the demons in their hell-filled homes. But over here, little boys are human beings and we're allowed to express ourselves. Listen, if you're bored, you could play Sudoku, you could play the lotto, you could play with your... Please stop playing with my mother kids. <laughs> okay. First of all, let me go on record and say, regardless of my opinion of the man's advice or anything similar, this mom is in the right when she said it was unsolicited advice. 
Understandably, the man was acting in accordance to an era long gone, whereas a society we encourage men to give all boys guidance, regardless of relation. That time has passed. Men are not encouraged to do that anymore. That said, I find it amazing this woman thinks she can teach a boy how to be a man when she is not a man. I now understand how people with children feel. I've just had to travel back from London to Nottingham with three bags and one suitcase. Oh, gross. It's fine. Is it? Because I got stuck in the barrio. They have a juicy couture suitcase, but it means absolutely nothing when you're having to call security over to help you get unwedged from the barriers. I'm mortified. Also, I thought I'll be a strong, independent woman. I'll put it in the back of me Uber myself. No, you take a seat, son. You've already done enough today. Scraped his car. Cool. Uh, I... I said sorry, and he was like, it's fine. But I was like, is it though, or are you being polite? Also, I was absolutely wasting away on the train. I was perishing, and the only thing I had was hula hoops. Have you ever eaten a hula hoop on a train? It doesn't, it goes down like a sack of shark. I was getting stares because of how crunchy they were, so I felt intimidated, and now I've got a bellyache because I'm really hungry. <laughs> and now I don't even want the hula hoops because they've really traumatized me. Oh, boy. Do you see what they complain about in Western society? The most privileged class in the world. Do you see? What kind of complaints are those? My life is so difficult. I couldn't put my suitcase in the back of an Uber. Imagine having such a soft life and then the audacity to tell other people how they should behave like men, what a real man is, what I want out of my, I won't date a guy with 10,000 long checklists of shit a man should have. Isn't that ridiculous? You can't put a suitcase in the back of a fucking taxi. And these are marriage material women, right? This is who we're supposed to settle down with, right? This is what you put a ring on and start a legacy with. A woman that can't put a suitcase in the fucking taxi. And they wonder why men are just leaving the West in droves. Anybody with the ability to should, even if it's temporary. Just have your eyes open to the options overseas. The West is done. Like, is it because I'm a girl? I'm not a bloke? Like, it's just so cruel. Okay, so this is my first day on this apprentice job. This is, like, my first, like, proper job. Um, and they've sent me to the shop to get some bits. So, when they've asked me get got a list here water hammer 10 foot fallopian tube copper magnets tartan paint and a long stand i don't really know what these are my dad used to do like stuff like this um so i thought like oh, <laughs> following his footsteps how do you get hired how are you qualified we all know how this happens it's called diversity and inclusion and it's giving people like this jobs who don't deserve to be within 100 feet of said job. It's literally risking other people's lives, depending on the industry that you're in. This is causing massive inefficiencies in business. To just keep up the woke narratives is causing businesses millions of dollars in productivity. This is a fact. Unbelievable. And they wonder why services keep getting worse, products keep getting worse, innovation is starting to stagnate, and the overall user experience on the customer end, it's just getting more and more terrible. You wonder why it's all falling apart? Because there are people in these positions that shouldn't be there. Uh, yeah, I think I'm at the shop, so I'm going to update you uh, when I've got the stuff. Uh. Ladies, let me make something clear to all of you. Regardless Unreal. of which Western country it is, construction workers are a different breed of roughneck jerks. I am not going to sugarcoat it. They are like that with each other. This shows how women consider equality a form of oppression once they get it. Roughnecks didn't treat her any different as they would a male apprentice. They haze them early to gauge how sharp they are, how well they are going to fit in, and most importantly, how they react under pressure. And I have to say, the bitch she said off that list was damn funny. I could give her a pass on the copper magnet. Water. Not many people know magnetic. The long stand would have been interesting to see. The tartan paint, it... Yeah, the long stand part. How long? <laughs> the fact that they gave her the list of water hammer. <laughs> She's legit going to go into the store in the vendor and ask, can I get a water and some hammers and fallopian tubes? And they're just going to look at her and be like, what? Did you say, was it 10 foot long fallopian tubes? <laughs> uh. Okay, cross pattern paint was gold. But her being a woman and not catching on to the uh, fallopian tube joke. <laughs> that was the 
crowning absolute jerk insert on that list. Am I the only one who wants to uh, read the rest of that list? No, 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 no. Okay, back in the car now. I went into the shop. I literally just like found like the first employee because I don't, I don't know what these things are. I've never really done this before. Went in and just went to like the first member of staff, showed him the list and he's like, stops laughing at me and I'm like, and then I just like go around the corner and I just start looking for stuff. And then I found like this guy, he looks like an older guy. And I was like, okay, this older man, like he looked quite like sweet. I was like, he's probably gonna like, hopefully like take pity on me. Tell me where this stuff is. And then he starts like giggling. And then like these two other guys that like, come <laughs> on the corner, they start laughing at me. And they're like, oh, look at the list, look at the list. I'm like, what? Like, I don't know what this stuff is. Like, and then they look at the list, they're like, none of this stuff exists. And I'm like, what? And I like have another look at the list. And it's like, it's 10 foot fallopian tube obviously that's not a thing and they're proper laughing at me and i've spent like so much time trying to get to the shop and then come back out i've been out for like nearly two hours trying to get this stuff i'm gonna go back to the site and then they're all gonna like laugh at me like, i don't know uh -huh. like what's the point like that's just so mean like, like is it because i'm a girl is it because i like i mean like i'm not a bloke like is that what it is is that just oh let's just take the piss out of her because she's a girl like is that what what it is it's just so cruel well again you don't belong there you moron that's the point you should have seen 10 foot fallopian tube and been like, ha ha, you guys are funny. Give me a real list of products to go get you. The fact that you took it and went over there and didn't notice fallopian tube as a woman, it just tells you like you don't belong on the work site and they know you don't belong on the work site. And everybody knows that you got hired simply because they need to meet a quota. Even the higher ups are just like, oh my God, dude, we got to do this stupid shit because it's l legislated in society now. What a joke. Equality seems like cruelty to women. And, and, by the way, she's going to go and complain to HR, and then everybody's going to have to go to a fucking meeting and just sit there and listen how it's not good to haste people. And it's not company culture to do this stuff. We have become more progressive and inclusive as a society and need to work, need to welcome our new hires and treat them with respect. And then two, three people are going to get in trouble, whoever wrote the list, reprimanded. And now everybody has to behave completely differently around this one person to not upset them. So they go tattletale on HR and company culture has changed and productivity has gone down the drain. All for virtue signaling inclusivity. And once they get it, sister, let me help you out here. You can stay in your car crying about everything or you can adapt and overcome, which I highly recommend. Just go back to the work area with a water bottle and tell them you found all the stuff, but it was so heavy you couldn't bring anything else. So the order is boxed up back at the store and the store manager said to give the list to the biggest wanker you can find. So he can pick up the order himself and you pass the list to the guy who gave it to you. Then say anything else any of you strong blokes need done or did your mums already pack all of your lunches with extra sweet biscuits? Hey, when in Rome, right? All right, something just happened. I'm gonna try not to cry. I think I did this video already, but I was proper crying. I find it cringe when people cry on the internet. So I'm gonna do it again uh -huh. without crying. So I went to the gym this morning, you know, and if you know me, I walk really, really fast. Um, I finished the gym, I left the gym and I was at a crossroad. I wanted to cross. So I was that way and a guy came that way and we were like at the same level. So I literally just like cut in front of him, but like we had space to, um, to walk the two of us. Even if I go in front of him, we had space. And um, so I was in front of him and then suddenly I'm like, I start to fall. So the guy behind me literally put his foot for me to fall. So naturally, what came out of me was like, what the f Like, literally out loud, I was like, what the f just happened? Like, and the guy turned around, massive guy, like six foot plus, and I'm five, six, you know, and I'm like tiny. He turned around, like head to head to me, and it was like, what did you just say? I don't want to act scared because, no, like, I want to stand for myself. But like, if the guy decides to punch me, like, I'm done. And he said to me, he was like, am I not big enough for you to see that I was coming? Like, and you could stay behind me. I was like, we had space for the two of us. Like, there's no need to like trying to make me fall down. Like, who does that? And he was like, the word you were looking was not but like, I'm sorry. And I was like, sorry for what? For wanting to walk fast and walk in front of you? Like, what the hell is that? 
Understandably, this queen is very emotional at this point, and her rant isn't making the most of sense. But piecing everything together, she claims a large man was trying to trip her and he was demanding an apology from her when she was passing him by. We were not there, so obviously we can't know for certain what exactly happened. Is it possible he was trying to get her to fall down? Absolutely it is. But later on in the video, she admits uh, this happened in a public area with other witnesses. I don't want to say I don't believe her as if it didn't happen exactly as she claims, but let's be honest here. If a large man tried to assault a small woman in a public area with witnesses, this would be a video of her talking about him getting arrested. This story is sus and missing some important details. I mean, if there was plenty of space between them, when she crossed in front of him, how exactly was he able to uh, trip her if he walks slower than her. Why would he uh, demand an apology from her if he was intentionally rude? Don't get me wrong, ladies. I am not justifying anyone in this situation. <laughs> I'm just asking some obvious questions about things mm -hmm. that aren't really adding up that much. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? What man has such a big ego that I can't walk in front of him? Like, this is mental to me. And then he leaves and I'm like raging and he's in front of me, so I'm trying to keep my distance. But obviously he walks slow and I walk fast. At some point we're at the same level. And many, many people walk past him. Many people like contour him like and walk past him. So at some point I wanted to do the same. So imagine he's, that's him. And then I'm coming on this side. And when he see me coming, he pushed me like that on the side. So I almost fell for the second time. So now we have a full on argument on the street. And I'm like, can you stop doing this? He was like, what were you trying to do again? You're trying to walk past me and you need to say sorry. Which I did. I was like, sorry, but he pushed me again. So I started to lose it and like scream at him and like, seriously, what's your problem? And two other men, no one did anything. And two other men saw it and they were like, oh, stop moaning, carry on your, your day. So yeah, those men did nothing. They just told me stop moaning. Oh, you're looking for other men to help you. Isn't that cute? Strong, independent boss, babe. As soon as she gets into an altercation in her mind, I love, where's the other men to come, come help me out here to enforce and impart this consequence on other men. See what I mean? So much for not needing men. Huh? But seriously, something needs to be done because this kind of behavior is not acceptable. Like, I know it's minor compared uh, to other like problems that can happen with female and that, uh, but it's like, really? And that's what, that's makes me laugh when people are like, yes, strip clubs are not safe. We need to close them down. That create violence against women. Please, I feel safer in, in my club than in any other normal nightclub or on the streets or, you know, like in a shop or whatever, do you know? Anyway, Karma is going to look after him. No worry for Oh, here we go. This karma shit. Yeah, cool story, bro. She's <laughs> in her strip club. She feels safer. Do you know why? Because there's very big bouncers there paid to protect you. That's why. This is the beginning of time we have and currently protecting them. We have them alive. Uh, we keep them alive. Since it happens in the background, they're incapable of seeing it. Which seeing reality is basically impossible for them. But they'll find out in their lifetime. <laughs> Someone says she never felt safe around a man in a pastry. Never felt safe around her in the world. Says if the first woman was assaulted like she claimed, she would not be laughing like that. Mm -hmm. We only protect what is worth protecting. Construction lady got the list every new guy gets. My specific one was grill stretcher when I was a new cook. Blinker fluid refilling the water fountain. Helmet stretcher. She's not special. Yeah, looks like it sucks being treated like one of boys, huh? Funny how that works. Says they gave her a list of all the goofy stuff, not because she's a female, but because she's new. They do that with just about all new people, not just in construction. This guy said, I'm going to ask my wife to make me a peanut butter and jelly salad just to see if she's listening. <laughs> and this one's a good one. We'll end it on this one. I would advise everyone to be familiar with Good Samaritan laws in your location. I will not, no longer approach or help any woman that I do not know. In my area, there is a case law, Van Horn versus Watson slash Torty, of people suing Good Samaritans, including where a woman sued her friend for saving her from a wrecked and burning car. Your responsibility is your family. Not a strange woman who can take your wealth and freedom and you cannot provide for and protect your family from court or in jail slash prison. Touche. We will end it on that one. See you guys on the next one.